Okay, so today's tip for self-published um, authors comes to you from Seth Godin, who is one of my favorite bloggers, and he's always short and to the point, and here you go. Hashtags for books. This is a great idea. Um, Seth Godin actually featured me in one of his books, South by Southwest Pokes. It wasn't actually his, but um, he was really involved in it, and I was so excited that my submission was included in this little book. So ever since then I've been uh, wanting to share everything I learned from Seth Godin because he's just awesome. So he suggests um, this great idea. It's all about passing on the good ideas, right? Breathing new life into books with official hashtags. Okay, so um, Ian Greenlee decided that it would be a great idea if books had an official hashtag. And why not? I'm sure some people have thought of this before, but sometimes it takes a while for a good idea to catch on. So um, today on Twitter, I started um, tweeting with some of my writing friends to ask them if they had any tips for how I could choose the official hashtag for my novel that I just published, The Proper Order of Things. And we thought about a few different ones, and I've come up with this one. Hashtag proper order. Use this hashtag to discuss the proper order of things on Twitter. And as I mentioned in yesterday's video, I think it's really important that you um, join Twitter and that you meet lots of other authors and use the hashtag pubwrite or writing or am writing and um, chat with other writers, talk about books that you've read and tell other writers that you're reading their book. That's one of the most important things. So right now I'm going to tweet that my official hashtag is now the proper order. Proper order. Thanks for helping me making my decision. I hope you'll um, include a hashtag for your, uh, an official hashtag for your book too. Okay, bye for now.